for his good plans and thought for our lives one more time. Let's lift up our voice and thank him. Bless this good God. Lift up your voice and thank God for his goodness, for his mercies, for his wonders, for his blessings upon our lives. Lift up your voice and celebrate him. Give him praise, give him glory. Give him praise, give him glory, give him thanks, give him adoration. Mighty God, we say thank you. King of kings, we say thank you. We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory for your good thoughts and plans for us. For the manifestation of your wonders over our lives. Thank you, mighty God, for your hand that is stretched forth over our lives that cannot be turned back. Father, I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, wishing of days. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. After this prayer, the heavens will open wider for you. Whatever has shut the heavens against you will be overturned today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whatever has we tell blessings for you today, we give up on you. And any evil visitor that have been attacking your open heaven today, the hand of God will come against them. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Congratulations, please get seated. I saw something today. It read, Beware of false prophets. And I saw another one, Beware of real prophets. When I read it, I, said, I had to call the pastor. I said, said, Where did you get this message? He said, Prophets can raise you, and if you are not careful, they can erase you. I said, please send the message for me, I need it. Prophets can raise you. Should be the same, beware of fake prophets. Also, beware of real prophets. They can raise you, and if you are not careful, they can erase you. The worst thing that can happen to any believer is to take any man of God for granted. Watch out, you are on your way to disaster. Please, I beg you, beware of fake prophets. And at the same time, beware of real prophets. So that you will not be erased. Provoking the open heavens for divine manifestation. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 23. Deuteronomy 28, verse 23. And thy heavens that is over thy head shall be what? Say God forbid. And the earth that is under thy under thee shall be what? Is that what you are looking for? <laughs> Praise God.
It is impossible for any child of God to experience the blessings ordained for him or her without the opening of the heavens. The opening of the heavens is what guarantees the swift operation of angels assigned to you. There are angels assigned to your destiny, angels assigned to your family, angels assigned for the fulfillment of your total destiny. But their operations are limited without your open heaven. Their operations are grounded when the heavens are not open for you. A destiny remains stagnant until there is a connection between the heavens and the earth. Whatever is released in the heaven is only what the earth is permitted to receive. So until the heavens are open, you labor under severe pressure. The worst thing that can happen to me is to pastor under a closed heaven. The worst thing that can happen to you and your family is to exist under a closed heaven. May that not be your portion. When the heavens are open, God does not just make his presence know, he localizes his presence in your life, in your family, in your career. He makes known his presence. The Lord in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, he will deliver. Open heaven. When the heavens are open, you enjoy earthly assistance. Why? Because the heaven is touching the earth. You enjoy assistance. There is an outpouring of the spirits. And there will be a release from the earth guaranteeing your swift operation. When the heavens are open, you live your life in an unhindered atmosphere. Natural laws are suspended while the heavens are at work. Protocols are broken. Why? Because the heavens are at work. When the heavens are open, it is not difficult for signs and wonders to become your natural experience. So when the heavens are open, signs and wonders become daily occurrence, not a once in a while manifestation. You can't live under an open heaven and suffer lack. My God shall supply. Once the heavens are open, there is divine supply, constant supply, regular supply, constant flow, regular flow. Before a need is arising, a supply is on ground. When the heavens are open, you don't only enjoy supply, you enjoy the flow of inspiration, a flow of ideas. Before it looks as if you are getting exhausted with one, another one is breaking forth. I was just busy thanking God today. Why? I've not been stranded with idea. When you are stranded for lack of idea, that is the bat of your frustration. Once you are stranded with lack of idea, you will just see yourself depressed. Why? Because you don't know what next to do. Once the heavens are open, you enjoy dream makers, destiny helpers. Day to day, God sent men to help David. Why? He was under an open heaven. As scripture say, he became a... Let's read that scripture. First Chronicle 12. First Chronicle 12, verse 21. And they helped David against the band of the robbers. 
for they were all mighty men of valor and were captains of what? In the host. Day to day, God sent men to help David. Day to day, God sent men to help David. God is our refuge, a very present help in time of trouble. So when the heavens are open, you are not limited in help. You enjoy regular help. Before you, before you look at the main road, help is on the way coming. So the opening of the heaven guarantee the regular flow of helpers. And hear this. The more helpers you meet, the more fast forwarded your destiny becomes. It is helpers that fast forward our destiny. And Jotam became mighty because he was marvelously helped by the Lord. And he built angels and towers. Why? God was regularly sending helpers to him. As long as he sought the Lord, the Lord make him to prosper. So the opening of the heavens brings your life to a frequent experience of the manifestation of helpers. 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 The opening of the heavens also brings you to turning points guaranteeing new records of breakthrough. You succeeded last month, you must succeed this month. You are succeeding this month, you are succeeding next month. So you never get to a point where you are standstill. Why? Because heavens has made, is made your life the attention. You are now the focus of heaven. Heaven is interested in your matter. Once heaven becomes interested in your matter, until it is settled, nothing else will be attended to. The opening of the heavens is what guarantees continuous success. The part of the jaws is as a shining light, shining brighter onto a perfect day. Proverbs 4 verse 18. You succeeded. I like the way Pastor Ebiomi put it. He says succeeding in successions. Succeeding in what? Succession. You succeeded last year, the results of this year, which wash out the results of last year. Succeeding in succession. Improving in results. Improving in your achievements. Improving in your spiritual life. Succeeding in succession. Once the heavens are open, your home becomes filled and saturated with the blessings of the Lord. You know, blessings are in faces. Blessings are in degrees. Are you know what I'm saying now? I remember one of our pastors, he said that God has blessed him. And people were laughing. He said, God has blessed me. He said, because I remember when I got married, my wife was cooking with Pomo. You know, there is Pomo is in degrees. There is higher grade of Pomo. And there is a... <laughs> There's one they call showboy. Who, who knows the one they call showboy? You are all pretending. The one they call showboy is the dry skin that there's nothing, there's nothing on top of it. Just the pure skin, nothing else. That one you use soap to wash it. So he knew when he graduated from Pomo and was eating fish and uh, Ice fish and uh, isam. So he knew when they graduated from that level and they were eating cow tail. And tozo. <laughs> he said, God has blessed me. I know, I know when levels changed. Levels will change for you. Yeah. He said, I know when levels change. That will be warming the soup, warming the soup, warming the soup. But we must eat it. He said, for now, they will cook five different kinds of food and put in the fridge. Levels. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, levels. Yeah. It's not out of scripture, it's in scripture. 
He says, it satisfies my mouth with good things. God will satisfy your mouth with good things. He said, I know when life will change that uh, when we are sleeping, we will keep fine to be finding mosquito away. From there, we started putting, uh, what, what did they call that mosquito call? Rambo. He put one here, put one here, put one here, put one here. He said the house will choke with smoke. <laughs> eh? I want your house to carry smoke. <laughs> he said from there they moved to spray shelters. But now they put a condition. <laughs> you must get to that level. You know, mosquitoes can't operate under a condition. They will look for one place to go and hide. <laughs> Do you agree with me? Yeah. But should I tell you the, the, what makes it work? The heavens don't open without prayer. Anytime I see you dodge from prayer, I know the evil powers of your father's house is compelling you to make sure that the heavens are closed. It's not your fault. It's because they don't want anybody in your family to rise and you are cooperating with them. Tell your neighbor prayer. Yeah. Now, should I ask you a question? When you sleep, do you know what transact in the heavenlies? Jesus said, why men slept the enemy so tars? There are evil visitors to the heavenlies. Witchcraft meeting takes place in the midnight. Occultic meeting takes place in the midnight. They travel from, local, from one location to another location. I remember in Asaba, one of those days, uh, in which they were traveling for a particular place. And now I don't know where. They chained to animal. In the process, rat caught, a trap caught the leg. So before daybreak, he changed to human being. It was difficult for it to run, so he was running with the trap. So they saw it and uh, arrested it, and in fact, they lynched the person. He died. Why men slept? Prayer keeps your, your heavens on fire. Your heavens must be open, supercharged. Your heavens must be a no-flying zone. Why? Now, naturally, when they say that um, a head of state or a governor is passing, I hope you know that they will not allow any other vehicle to pass. That is a physical picture of what open heavens look like. When your heavens are charged, the spiritual atmosphere around your life is charged with fire. It's charged with fire. Now, if, even in the physical now, they know where they don't fly past. If you fly past here, you won't fly again. No. So you need prayer fire. Tell your neighbor you need prayer fire. Yeah. To keep your heavens open. Now, the reason why you need prayer fire to keep your heavens open because a lot of things has been sown, planted. The reason for the sowing is to increase their manipulative activity over your life. To manipulate a destiny, it should be done in the night. To manipulate a business, a family, a character. They, they saw it in the night. Why? The person is in a spiritual slumber state. So, 
So your prayers moves you from the realm of the physical to the realm of the supernatural. Where you, come, you become a mobile fire. Tearing down every wall of limitation. Destroying everything that have been planted. Tearing down every walls, every force, gang up of wickedness against your life. And you know what? The angels will not be involved in your matter. Oh, Jacob said, God was in this place, I knew it not. Do you know what happened to him? He saw angels ascending and descending. Now, when your heavens open, angels will be ascending and descending. You didn't say amen. Amen. They will be ascending and descending. Delivering and on assignments. They will be delivering. They will take what you have declared. They go execute it and bring the blessing. The worst thing that can happen to any family is to operate under a closed heaven. And you know what? Satan knows how to organize it. For the heavens to be closed for a family. Quarrel between husband and wife. From there, we'll send a small message. We'll paste it on the wall. Your food is in the microwave. <laughs> you will go and paste this one on the wardrobe. When you finish eating, I've gone. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Trouble has started. Good morning. Mm. (laughs) How good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. (laughs) Let's read that scripture. You will see something today. Psalm 133. Behold, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Verse 2. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that run down upon the bed, even Aaron's bed that went down to the skirt of his garments, as the dew of Hammon favor, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion altar. For there, say with me there, the Lord commanded the blessing, even life. Command, blessings are commanded. Commanded blessings have directions. So your family can live without the blessing. Quarry today, quarry tomorrow. This one will sleep and face this side. South pole. So we will sleep and face north pole then the demon will now take place in the center. He touched him. Why did you touch me? <laughs> Don't touch me again. No. From touching me again, he will now carry a wrapper and go and lie down on the floor. And the demon will now take charge. That's how you are supposed to deal with it very well. Tell me now how you can pray. Tell me now how both of you can pray. A kingdom that is divided against itself cannot what? Stand. Another thing the enemy can do to close the heaven, it operates in church too. If the enemy wants to scatter this church now, they know they can't get me. So what they'll be looking for, how they can get Pastor Tunde or get accountant? Is your pastor is wicked? Is your pastor is a witchcraft? It's your pastor. It had, it had to be like stone. Do you know what they want to do? To hinder the flow. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Huh? If you read Acts chapter 3, they were always going to pray together in their company. So the heavens was always open for them. So from there, husband and I will be fighting. Uh, the children will say, don't you know my salary? 
from their troubles that any any anything is problem anything is problem the heavens are closed and you know the moment the heavens are closed the man will be jamming bad, bad luck you'll be meeting disappointment you be the people that were supposed to favor him they will be turning their heart against him on his own side because he's a mumu head are you saying that because he's a mumu head he does not know that the enemy is punishing him and punishing everybody in his family. Now hear me. If the enemy strike you, are you what I'm saying now? The next spot of call is your wife and your children. Your wife and your children. Your wife and your children. That's why for family to experience open heaven, don't break prayers. Don't hold grudges. There's nobody here I cannot say hey, you are wrong. But they know now. Just you made me mistake, and I'm not. If I'm on the road, I will call you. <laughs> Godwin, Godwin, you have started. <laughs> are you wrong, saying now? Because I don't want to be under pressure. I don't want to pray and the Holy Ghost will be doing like this. You know what is like this? Clay it, clay it, clay it, clay it, clay it, clay it. Scripture says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. I want when I'm praying, God will tell me, my son, this is what I want you to do. This is what will take place in the church today. Not a... You, you are praying with grudges, praying with bitterness. I don't pray with God. If I enter the realm of uh, vengeance, I know that you are a devil and you must be killed. That's true. If, I, if, I, if you have been confirmed and has been established as a devil against my life, I don't pray for pity for you. I pray for your vengeance to be confirmed. Even heaven knows that you are an obstruction to my work. But hear me. You need open heaven to flourish in destiny. You need the heavens to open for you, for you to succeed. It doesn't matter who doesn't like your face. May the Lord be pleased with you. Another thing that can close the heaven against you is an evil heart. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. It's called the altar of prayer, the altar of transparency. <laughs> God sees your. If I even before you began to pray, God already knows the content of your heart. So what are you trying to cover? People fake it more in church than outside, and that's why they carry. They go from frustration to frustration, from hardship to hardship. Is anti God. I have not said to the seed of Jacob, seek me in vain. If God must hear you, you must be open to God. You must be open to God. Search me and know me. If there be any hidden way in me and lead me in the path of everlasting. Can God search you now? But you are looking for open heaven. For the heavens to be open, your heart must be open. Your heart must be open. Destroy everything that is unprofitable, unprofitable, bitterness, anger. Scripture says, be angry, but sin not to. Me, I can be angry, but I don't lay it to heart. If not, I will not succeed in doing one thing. You need a peaceful mind to think well. Oh, you don't know? If your mind is disturbed, you can't think well. Oh. In fact, you can't put anything down on paper. As you are doing like this, the thing will come back. Evil hearts. Some people can be in church and be planning evil. See, I ain't sit down for that place. I ain't sit down for that place. I can go answer you. 
In fact, your, your Satan has already domiciled his oppression in your heart. When he has domiciled his oppression in your heart, then we, we, we are with this work for you. So it's an inside work first before you appear before the altar of prayer. Until you have not, if you have not succeeded in taking care of the internal, the external cannot work. Yes. If you can't take care of the internal, the external cannot work. You conquer within before you conquer without. You must conquer inside before you conquer outside. So open heaven is real work. How will the heaven open for you that is rebellious? Every instruction you have resisted. Who is pastor to give me instruction? Pastor is under authority too. So he's under instruction. Don't mind this pastor. I know him from his village. I can give you his life story. Like someone said that we know everybody's life story. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know this pastor. That's the truth. I'm seeking my way. My own judgment is different from your own. Oh, I hope you know that one. If the heaven must open for you, you must check the things you are doing. Am I in line? If they obey and serve me, they will spend their years in prosperity and their days in pleasure. Pastor, do you know what? I'm excited. If I had resisted my transfer to Joss and I now use a leadership favor, I will, that place that I will have gone will have been punishment. It will have been operating under a closed heaven. The heavens open for you where the will of God has been meant for you. So when you walk out of God's will, you walk out of your open heaven. You enter your closed door. You enter heat zone. You enter fry pan. I've said it before. I had nothing less than eight to nine calls when I was coming to, to Joss. Be, be careful of that refugee people. Oh. They are rebel. The pastors are witchcraft. The dickies and dickiness, they are terrible. I blocked the number. In fact, I don't even know the number again. I blocked the number. Thank God for the kind of phone I had there. I just blocked the number and make sure that no call or text message or WhatsApp from that phone entered my number. Another pastor called me as, as I arrived. Have you arrived? Have you called that man? I blocked his phone permanently. <laughs> that is witchcraft. I've not landed. They want to scatter me. I've not landed. They want to give me close heaven. The worst thing that you can do against yourself is to operate on hearsay. Yes, so my master told me don't believe in hearsay. If not, you have started battle before your message. If any place you go is, here, is hearsay, hearsay, they are giving to you. You are on trouble ground before the assignment will start. So I blocked all, all those lines. One saw me the other day in Canada, I said, ah, I can't reach you again. Anytime I call you, say, number busy, number busy. I told him face to face, I intentionally blocked your line. He said, ah, me too. I said, yes, now. <laughs> the worst thing I can do is to pretend for you. I said, I blocked your line. He said, why? God said I should go. You are not telling me that the place I'm going to is a trouble zone. Which means God is not going with me. But I know he said, go. 
If God say go, he said, I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gate of brass and I will cut in sun the bars of iron. So even if they were troublemakers in ALFC Refit, I was not interested in knowing because I know I came with Koboko. I came, no, I'm not joking. I said, I came with what? Kuboko. And the angels were ready to do the Kuboko in for me. So that my work will go well. And I, I lie not, I'm blessed. If I had said, I remember when we visited Pastor Jeremy that day, he said, What is your decision? About that just. How can they take you to Joss? Sir, God said, go. Ah, if God said go, I remove my hand. <laughs> Are you know what I'm saying now? If I had, listen to me, if I had, say, sir, move me out of this place. I have walked out of my open heaven I've embraced a closed heaven. We are will not be eating bread and coke. <laughs> and granite. Say God forbid. <laughs> if you move out of your open heaven, granite will be in this pocket. You will put another thing in this water. Coolie, coolie. <laughs> when you throw small, <laughs> they will not know that you are using survival strategy. Why? The heavens are closed against you. Say God forbid. When the heavens are closed against you, instead of eating normal food, you'll be looking for where they are selling massa every night. I, I'm going somewhere, or just follow me. Oh. But when the heavens are open for you, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Shall I tell you something? When the heavens are open, no matter your location, supply will come. In Numbers 11, in Numbers 11, we're reading from verse 31. Scripture say, And the wind went forth from the Lord and brought in quails to their camp. Why? The heavens were open for them, even in the wilderness. What men call wilderness becomes um, Goshen for you. Why? Because the heavens are open for you there. When the heavens are open for you, you meet helpers. You don't meet hotters. When the heavens are open for you, you meet body bearers. People that take your issue as their personal matter. And they are fighting for you. When the heavens are open for you, little effort, much result. When the heavens are open for you, you don't struggle to make progress. He maketh my feet like hinds feet. So you enjoy speed of accomplishment. Please, I beg you, you need an open heaven. And the only way to secure an open heaven is to steer up a desire to be in his presence. Psalm 27. I read from verse 3. Psalm 27. Though a host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise up against me, in this will I be confident. Look at verse 4 now. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to do what? Inquire in his temple. Now look at verse 5. For in time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me up upon a rock. Verse 6 now. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore, 
will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifice of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto thy Lord. Why? I am in the temple. Fear a temple man. Oh. Fear a temple man. Do you know what I mean by a temple man? Someone that is always running to the altar. It's just like they say someone is always running to a shrine. Fear a temple man. You can't win a temple man. You can't win a temple man. When the heavens are open again, again for him, the heavens will be against you. Once the heavens open for you, it will be against every force of wickedness that are read against your life. That's why you need an open heaven. You put your enemy into everlasting confusion according to Jeremiah 20 verse 11. Everlasting confusion. Once the heavens are open for you, hear me? God does not only tabernacle with you, you enjoy the, the active force of the heavenly host. The heavens must open for you. Amen. When the heavens are open for you, you are no longer under pressure. You are under pleasure. Pleasure. For in his presence, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures. Pleasure, no pressure. I remember a testimony. I think I've shared this testimony before. One woman was selling mama put. The other woman who was selling mama put in a primary school. And I'm sure we must have heard this testimony before. She went for an open heaven service. After that service, she declared, All oh, heavens! Until I finish selling, nobody must sell. Guess what happened? The angels made sure that the traffic shifted. So, all the children shifted. They were buying my my rice. You know, children they can buy. They buy my my rice, buy meat. Even the ones that are stealing money from their parents. <laughs> <laughs> buy my my buy rice, buy meat. She sold everything. The other person was just watching with anger. So as she finished, she started washing and was singing. Oh Lord, I am very, very. <laughs> you know those songs can be very, very annoying. <laughs> for all you have done for me. <laughs> the person didn't sell anything. So they will go back with the food and the children, they will eat belly food. She came back the next day, the same thing happened. All heavens, until I finish selling, nobody must sell. The angels have fenced the other place out. The student, they still came. She sold. So, after the third one, she went. I beg, what did happen now? The charm has failed. When your heavens open, your enemy's charm will fail. Whoever has been enchanting you, today, their charm will fail. Yeah. Anywhere they have consulted your matter, today their invocation will fail. Yeah. Wherever they have gone to be manipulating issues in your life, today their invocation will fail. Yeah. Rise up to your feet. After today, According to Isaiah, he said, I will give to thee the spirit of burning. Your heart will be burning for prayer. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Studio, put the prayer. The spirit of grace. Let your fire come upon every soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lako sheko preketezo zialita. Zerushe menendro du zagaga. Heavens over my life, over my destiny, over my family, open by fire in the name of Jesus. Tear open by fire, oh heaven over my life, over my destiny, over my family. Tear open by fire. Jerusalem gredi etelata in the name of Jesus oh heavens over my life over my destiny over my family 
Tia open by fire. Impratuna en zusu nekota. Jelute kikukareta. Bresone eke kikutu. Jikote zia epre eke kotu. Injunu te kukaprakata. Mekoradi izesunete. All heavens over my calling, over my marriage, over my business, over my career. Open by fire. Likuta esonodo. Jekutete riba losa. Dredono shikutete riata. Emprate nakotezo. Izuzune kukapra. Berute ikara ezunute kuka. Mekle ikukutu zuzu. Jerota na bredile sitata. Rekata krushetosia. Inklopembre ezudodo. Jekukaka reketezize. Jelute ne gradeno sututu. Jikute kukaka kaka rikata. Jekuka kreketeke ziso sika kaka ka. Reketeke reketeke reketeke. Any dark power and principality in my heavens die by fire in the name of Jesus. Limpro tu en zonate jeku karete jeku kaprakata likete kute in sotodo lego rakata kata jeku raba lego zo in bradosi zonegerede. In Kaluta, Bera Tuzazia, Jekle Pebre, Lagosi Zonagaga, Jekute, Regote, Legote, Legote, Eratana Topredino Sata, Eratana Brosotonilata, Ifu Visitors, Ifu Visitors, against my open heaven, I command your arrow to backfire, I command your arrows. To backfire, evil visitors against my open heaven. I command your arrows to backfire by fire in the name of Jesus. Evil visitors against my open heaven. I command your arrows to backfire by fire in the name of Jesus. Evil visitors. Against my open heavens, I command your arrows to backfire by fire. Whatever you have enchanted, whatever you have manipulated against my open heaven, by the blood of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I command your arrows to backfire by fire. In the name of Jesus, la kubreketi kete, jeku kaka kaka, in poroto, in zagege, rakoto sosi zezia, in jogleberete, in jogleberete, in katu kato perekete, in zuzu na ke kopa kate kota, Jesus zeku kubrekete lete, Jesus zake brekete likete, en zunu te kopa kata kata kata, le koto kubrekete ria. Lekoto kopreketeria in sogodo kopreketeke lege deke lege deke lege deke lege deke lege deke lege deke in zulu dugu lugu dugu lugu dugu lugu dugu lugu dugu lugu dugu in raga laga do kopreketeke lege deke deke lege deke lege deke deke any evil personality manipulating issues against me in the heavens your time is up. I prophesy against you in the name of Jesus. Die by fire. Lakoto pregede in zanatata and proper preketezozia in zusa recotelota and pala and dula and pala and ziake and kako recoteto and zusake kata and krupa likate kota zerate and koporo and zerata. In Prakato, in Zogoto, and Gagale, Jeguda Gagaga 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 
Rakotoko breke zege delia. Raga daka breke zege laka daka breke zege lege de. Raga zaga breke lege de. Raga zaga lege breke le. Zaga laka breke zege le. Powers. Say no to my breakthrough. I command vengeance by the blood of Jesus upon you. Powers. Say no to my breakthrough. I command vengeance by the blood of Jesus upon you. Vengeance of the blood. Arise for me. Smite every evil personality. Smite any witch. Smite any wicked man. Smite any wicked woman. Say no to my breakthrough. Blood of Jesus. Arise for me now. Execute vengeance. Execute speedy vengeance. Upon any power. Any evil personality. Say no to my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, Napontaka and Zuso and Krakete, Zizori Kapopa, Mekika Preketo Zizosia, Jikuka Preketete, and Kakarekete, Jerusi Akeka, and Rakatanata, and Dobolobaroboto, and the dark power and principality in my heavens. Jesus, Lambrosondo Bredi, Embrabo do 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 do, Zegura gada 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 gada. Evil visitors against my open heaven. I command your arrows to backfire by fire now. In the name of Jesus, evil visitors against my open heaven. I command your arrows to backfire. By fire in the name of Jesus, Lampretet and Yabos, and Perado Susane, and Kala, and Rodo, and Susa Leka Prakata, Zesuse, Precuteto, Jekukaka, Periato Nata, and Recotonete, Jekuka Preceterete, and Ruta Pabaya, and Radada Lekoto, Jekukaka, and evil personality. Manipulating issues against me, against my wife, against my family, against living featured refuge in the heavenlies. Your time is up in the name of Jesus. I prophesy against you. Fall down and die. La Sonte in Kokaro, Jekukakeke, and Preperoto, and Susa. Prekikoteria. Oh heavens, over my calling, over my marriage, over my business, over my career, open by fire, open by fire. Rasonate and Krotoria, Jekukariaka, Jekuketeria. Oh heavens, over my life, over my destiny, over my family, open by fire. In the name of Jesus, la sekekete in koparadada, je kutaratata, reketeria gagaga, je kukaragagagaga, rekosezuzia, la koprege de gede gede gede, raganagadagadagadagadaga, je kodaga ragadagadagada, empradeo sozo, nangredia gaga, zezuzaria gege, zezuzaria gege, ragodogo zogo dogo dogo dogo. Thank you, Father. By this communion, by the blood of sprinkling, the blood that speaks in the heaven, the blood that speaks on the earth, the blood that speaks beneath the earth, any evil voice crying against you in the heavenlies, they are silenced in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been fired as an arrow, Whatever has been planted by witchcraft agents, evil men, against your open heaven, I decree they scatter in the name of Jesus. Network of evil men and evil women, even in the church, fighting your blessing, fighting your breakthrough. 
let the vengeance of God smite them in the name of Jesus. Whoever is stepping into this church as an agent of Satan against any member of this church, even against me, I invoke your destruction in the name of Jesus. Anyone fighting the open heaven of any member in this assembly, I mobilize the angels of fire to tear you down in the name of Jesus. As you partake of this communion, whatever has been done against your open heaven, I undo them today in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been manipulated against you in the heavenlies by this communion, I command them to scatter in the name of Jesus. Every embargo placed over your head, placed over your family, placed over your work, placed over your expectation by this communion, let that embargo crash in the name of Jesus. Any power saying no to your blessing, wherever they stay to make that enchantment, let the God of Oyere go kill them in the name of Jesus. Whoever vowed a vow that the blessing appointed for you must not come. That the blessing designed for you must not come to pass. I decree. Let them expire in the name of Jesus. Every marine manipulation fighting your open heaven. I decree. Let their set up and their gang up scatter in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus name we pray. This month of August will be the easiest for you. Amen. From this month, you will not suffer. Amen. You will not struggle again. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hear me? Wherever they enchanted to close the heavens against you, by the blood of sprinkling, <laughs> Jesus said, I'm the one that opened it, and no man can close. I don't know the door of the heavenly blessings that have been shut against you. By this blood of sprinkling, they are open. Amen. As you sprinkle this blood around your house, around your neighborhood, every satanic witchcraft activity, work of evil men, footprints of evil men and evil women, they are banished in the name of Jesus. Scripture says, since thou hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. As the blood is sprinkled, the angels of God will drive away every evil man from your vicinity. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whoever is bewitching the heavens over your head, let the vengeance of the blood smite them in the name of Jesus. Whoever is bewitching your family, let the blood execute vengeance against them in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. The heavens over you, they are open. This month you will flourish. This month angels will be ascending and descending for you. This month you will not lack success. This month blessings will flow to your house. Before one blessing finish, another one is opening. The heavens over your destiny is open. Your helpers will not stay far from you. Your dream makers will not stay far from you. Your helpers will not stay far from you. Your helpers will not stay far from you. Stay from you. Any coven, any man or woman consulting evil altar, using your picture, using your name to fire arrow against you, let the vengeance of the blood hit them tonight. Every plan they have made for your downfall, for your sorrow, for your affliction, I command the arrow to backfire in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well with your career. It shall be well with your business. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's take this announcement before we show the goodness. The goodness together, surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so.